one shop owner has bought in the Santa or in any light bazaar. Ekki jaa pe milke. Most type of plastics are known as thermosetting plastics. Comparison, there are three types. Up, down, right, left. I am not inferior to anyone. We are Clara. We are top on the hour. Congratulations. I want to be a leader. Hi friends, a very good afternoon to one and all. I am your friend Shramanti Swero of First MPC from Mindels Magnet College. Friends, today we are going to learn an interesting chapter which is related to maths. So, I think you are all ready to listen my class, right? Yeah, Sweros, brilliant. I always hope a positive answer from Sweros. So, thank you Sweros for that. And now let us start our class. Friends, in our maths 1B textbook, we have two topics. First one is calculus and second one is coordinate geometry. And in calculus, there are three subtopics. First one is limits and continuity. Second one is differentiation. And third one is applications of derivatives. And friends, I will start my class with the saying that with the calculus as a key, mathematics can be successfully applied to the explanation of the course of nature. So now, friends, uh, by listening to the word calculus, you might have got some questions raised in your mind, right? What is meant by calculus and who introduced calculus, etc. So, calculus is nothing but it is a branch of mathematics which deals with the finding the properties of derivatives and also integrals of functions. Once again, I repeat, Sveros, calculus is nothing but it is a branch of mathematics which deals the, with the finding the properties of derivatives and also integrals of functions. And now, calculus is introduced by the great scientist Isaac Newton and also Gottfried Leibniz. And today, calculus has stood as a quantitative knowledge for science and also technology. And friends, coming to uses, do you know where calculus is used? No, it's okay, I'll tell you. Calculus is used everywhere in our daily life. For example, in engineering, calculus is initially developed for better navigation system. And also, some of the engineers use calculus for system designing and I think you are all interested in robotics, right? Okay, then I am going to say an interesting fact to you that is with the use of calculus, robotic parts will work on given command. So, when you are familiar with calculus, you may be a member of robotics maybe in your future. And friends, not only that, uh, calculus is used to build bridges etc. and also it is used to improve the safety of vehicles. So friends, this is nothing but calculus is used in the engineering field. And next coming to biology, calculus is used to measure the growth rate of bacteria and some of the physical attributes such as skull length and backbone length are measured by using calculus. So friends, this is about calculus is used in biology. And friends, not only this, coming to physics, the great scientist Isaac Newton had developed his laws of motion and also gravitation in calculus and also astronomical science is deeply dependent on calculus. And next coming to economics, credit card companies use calculus in monthly payments and also it is used in many physical models. And next coming to civil engineering, calculus is used in hydrology. That is, in hydrology, the volume is calculated as the area under the curve of a plot. And uh, going to aerospace engineering, friends, I think you are all interested in aerospace, right? So, aerospace is nothing but analysis of rockets at different stages also require calculus. And most of the physical models with complex system also use calculus. So, and next going to medicine, in medicine, calculus is used to find the level of blood pump it through the heart per unit time and also it is used to determine the flow of an artery and a vein and also it is used to formulate the birth and also death rates. So friends, uh, the, it is also used in medicine. So friends, don't you think that these are the many important facts which we ever heard higher in our earlier classes? Yeah, this, I think so. These are the most important facts which we ever heard in our earlier classes. And friends, now 
I uh, till now we have discussed about what is meant by calculus and what are the uses of calculus, etc. And now let us enter into our topic. So friends, and before entering into a topic, we have to know some of the basic concepts like slope, angle, and curve, etc. So first, we'll go to the basic concept slope. So friends, I think you all you all have learned that what is a slope, right? Slope is nothing but it tells how steep a line is or how much y increases as x increases. And slope is denoted by letter m and m is equal to change in y axis by change in x axis. That is nothing but y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. And we can write slope as also tan theta. So friends, and we all know that slope is constant everywhere on the line. And next coming to angle. As we all know, angle is nothing but the amount of turn between two straight lines that have a common endpoint is known as angle. The amount of turn between two straight lines that have a common endpoint is known as angle. So friends, this is nothing but angle. And next coming to curve. Curve is nothing but a continuously bending line without angle is known as a curve. So friends, this is nothing but curve. So these are the basic concepts which we have learnt in our earlier classes, slope, angle and also curve. Slope is nothing but we all know uh, it is how steep a line is or how much y increases as x increases and also angle and also curve. And friends now let us go to angle between two lines. Friends I think you are all following me and let us go to angle between two lines. So for that I am drawing a graph of x axis and y axis. And uh, at x axis and y axis, I am going to draw two lines L1 and L2, which makes the angle theta. So, friends, this angle is known as theta2, and this angle is denoted as theta1. And, friends, let us assume tan theta1 is equal to m1 and tan theta2 is equal to m2. So, friends, by the we know that the angle between two lines tan theta is equal to mod m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2. So friends, uh, this is the angle between the two lines tan theta is equal to mod m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2. That is theta is equal to tan inverse mod m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 and m2. This is how we find the angle between two lines, friends. Um, uh, I think you are all studied it in our earlier classes only. And now let us go to slope of a curve. So friends, going to slope of a curve is nothing but, you all know curve, right? Curve is nothing but a continuously bending line without angles. So uh, for a curve, I am drawing a graph x-axis and y-axis. I am going to draw a slope. And now I am going to draw, plot the points A, A, B, C and D. And the points at A are X1, Y1, X2, Y2, X3, Y3 and X4, Y4. So friends, these are the points and observe the graph friends. At the point A, the graph is rising more quickly than at the point B. And at point C, the graph levels are off. And at point D, the graph is falling down. Right, friends? Uh, this is about the graph. At point A, the graph is rising more quickly than point B. And at graph C, the vertex level are off. And at point D, the graph is falling down. So this is nothing but slope of a curve. Friends, uh, had you think any method that uh, we can find the angle between the two curves? No, it's okay. That is nothing but at this, at this point at which the rate where the slope uh, is taken, then at that point we can find the slope of the tangent line. So calculating the slope of the tangent line is nothing but difference quotient. So difference quotient is not nothing but it is a derivative to a graph f of x and is usually denoted by f dash x. So f dash x is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 f of x plus delta x minus f of x by delta x. So friends, this is nothing but uh, difference quotient. Difference quotient is f dash x is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 
f of x plus delta x minus f of x by delta x. So friends, this is nothing but limit def, uh, definition of the difference quotient. And now uh, let us go to derivative. And friends, I think you all uh, are first first year students, so you all know about differentiation, right? The process of finding derivative is nothing but differentiation. And derivative is nothing but the instantaneous rate of change of a function, and it is used to find the slope and equation of a function, etc. So it is nothing but derivative. And friends. Uh, a function is not differentiable at all points. There are some situations where the function is not differentiable. So, uh, for example, in vertical tangent line, it cannot be differentiable, and also in discontinuities and sharp turns, nodes, etc. So, friends, uh, these are the these are the situations where the function is not differentiable. Uh, so, friends, these are the basic concepts which we have read in our earlier classes. So friends, uh, these are the basic concepts. First one is slope of a line that which we have discussed before. Uh, uh, we know that slope tells how steep a line is or how much x increases as y increases and it is constant everywhere on the line. So angle, angle is nothing but the amount of turn between two straight lines that have a common endpoint is known as angle. This is angle between two lines friends that which we have explained before that is the angle between the two lines tan theta is equal to mod m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2. So this is the angle and next coming to slope of a curve that which I have drawn on the board. So there is a graph of x axis and y axis of uh, plotting the points a, b, c and d. At A, the graph is uh, rising more quickly than at point B and at C, the vertex level are off and at point D, the graph is falling down. So this is nothing but difference quotients. Friend, observe that there is a graph of x axis and y axis. There is a uh, drawn curve to the graph and we also have drawn secant to the curve. So observe friends, there are points of x and y axis. So the difference between x and delta x is nothing but change in x. So we denote change in x as delta x and we have slope formula that is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So uh, we substitute the points of x and y in the equation that is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Then uh, by doing that we have got that f of x plus delta x minus f of x by delta x. This is nothing but difference quotient. And friends observe that when the secant to the curve coincides with the curve then it becomes as a tangent line. At that point, at that point we can find the slope of the tangent line. At that here uh, the secant is coincide with the tan uh, curve. So this blue line indicates the tangent line. So this is nothing but uh, this is how we find the slope of the tangent line. And next coming to this is nothing but limit definition of the derivative. So we uh, learned before that is f dash x is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 f of x plus delta x minus f of x by delta x. So this is nothing but limit definition of the derivative. And friends here yeah, uh, derivatives are expressed in two forms one is prime notation method and also other is Leibniz notation method. In prime notation method we call f dash x or f prime of x and y dash or y prime and in Leibniz notation method we call it as dy by dx or the derivative of y with respect to x. So friends uh, this is nothing but derivative is expressed in two forms. And next coming to derivative is the process of finding derivative is nothing but differentiation. And next uh, the derivative are expressed in four forms that is the instantaneous rate of change of a function and it is a slope of a function at a point etc. And friends coming to session objectives and first one is rate of change of quantities. So friends uh, for rate of change of quantities I will give you an example. For example if a radius of a sphere is 7 centimeter and it is increased to 7.02 centimeter. So uh, by the rate of change of quantities we can find the approximate volume of the 
spear. So, uh, by the rate of change of quantities only, it is possible. And next, uh, and for clearance, I will give you another example that is, uh, if a side of a spear is 4 centimeter and it is increased to 4.02 centimeter. So, uh, by the rate of change of quantities, we can find the approximate error or uh, area of the spear. This is nothing but rate of change of quantities. Friends, I hope you are all have understood my session objective 1 that is rate of change of quantities and now let us go to session objective 2 that is slope and equation of tangent. So, friends for that I am drawing a graph of x axis and y axis. So, friends uh, by drawing the graph I am also drawing a curve and to the curve I am drawing one tangent line right. This is a tangent line and I am uh, the point is noted as x naught and y naught. So, friends uh, for this slope and equation of tangent what I have done firstly I am drawing I have drawn a graph of x axis and y axis to the graph I have drawn a curve and to the curve I have drawn one tangent. Tangent line uh, the intersecting point is x naught and y naught. So, friend at this point the equation of the tangent uh, the, the slope and equation to the tangent line is nothing but uh, I think friends uh, we all have learned the point slope formula in the straight lines chapter right. So, point slope formula is nothing but y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So, as it like we have to write the slope and equation of the tangent that is nothing but y minus y1 is equal to dy by dx at point x naught and y naught into x minus x naught. So, friends this is nothing but slope and equation of the tangent that is y minus y1 is equal to dy by dx x naught y naught into x minus x naught and next coming to slope and equation of normal. Friends slope and equation of normal is nothing but if we draw a normal line to this tangent line at this point we can find the equation to the normal. So, friends I am drawing the graph drawing the normal to the curve. So, this is nothing but normal line. So, at this point we can find the equation to the normal line. So, it, it is nothing but y minus y1 is equal to minus 1 by dy by dx x naught y naught and x minus x naught. So, friends this is nothing but um, the slope and equation of normal and first one is slope and equation of tangent and second one is slope and equation of normal. So, friends let us recall again our session objectives. First one is rate of change of quantities. Rate of change of quantities is nothing but uh, uh, sub calculating the errors. Uh, there are uh, various type of errors in rate of change of quantities that is first one is absolute error, second one is relative error and third one is percentage error. And next coming to tangent. So, friends tangent is nothing but which I have explained that is uh, we have firstly we have to draw a graph on a graph we have to draw one curve and to the curve we have to draw the tangent line. So, for drawing the tangent line uh, the point is x naught and y naught. So, to the point x naught and y naught we are drawing the equation to the tangent line that is nothing but y minus y 1 is equal to dy by dx x naught y naught into x minus x naught and x coming to slope and equation of the normal slope and equation of normal is nothing but y minus y 1 is equal to minus 1 by dy by dx x naught and y naught into x minus x naught. So, slope and equation of normal is nothing but it is perpendicular to the slope and equation of the tangent. So, friends these are the section objectives. So, I think you are all following me and you all have understood the three session objectives and now let us go to my session objective angle between two curves. So, my session objectives is nothing but angle between two curves. So, for, uh, firstly friends angle between two curves is nothing but, uh, so we find the angle between two curves as we are drawing the two tangent to the curve which are drawn to the curve. So, this is nothing but how we find the angle between two curves. So, for that I am drawing a graph of x axis and also y axis.
to the graph, I am drawing two curves. So, these are the curves and the intersecting point is x0 and y0. So, the intersecting point is x0 and y0. So, to this to these curves, I am going to draw two tangent lines. So, here the angle is theta. Friends, I am I have drawn two tangent line to the both the curves and first graph is noted as y is equal to f of x and y is equal to g of x and these are both the tangents here the angle is theta uh, and here the angle is theta 2 and here the angle is theta 1. So friends, uh, now we are going to find the angle between these two curves. So it is nothing but we have learnt in our earlier classes that is sum of the interior angles is equal to exterior angle, right? So theta plus theta 2 is equal to theta 1. So it becomes as theta is equal to theta 1 minus theta 2. Now we have to apply tan on both the sides. So tan theta is equal to tan theta 1 minus theta 2. And friends, I think that you all are familiar with trigonometric ratios, right? So I think you are all are intelligence spheros. So I know that you have remembered the tan A minus B formula. So tan A minus B formula is nothing but tan A minus tan B by 1 plus tan A tan B. So here also in the place of A and B, we are uh, putting theta 1 and theta 2. So it is nothing but tan theta 1 minus tan theta 2 by 1 plus tan theta 1 tan theta 2. So friends, this is nothing but how we find the angle between the two curves. Tan theta is equal to tan theta 1 minus tan theta 2 by 1 plus tan theta 1 and tan theta 2. So friends, uh, now, uh, so friends, we have to assume that tan theta 1 is equal to m1 and tan theta 2 is equal to m2. So here we can put m1 and m2 in the place of tan theta 1 and tan theta 2. So this becomes as tan theta is equal to mod m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2. So friends, this is how uh, we find the angle between the two curves tan theta is equal to mod m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2. So theta is, is equal to theta is equal to tan inverse mod m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2. So friends this is nothing but how we find the angle between two curves. So first how to find the angle between two curves for that we are drawing a graph of x axis and y axis so, so to the graph we are drawing two curves that intersect at the points x0 and y0 so friends x0 and y0 uh, to the two curves we are drawing two tangent lines which making the angle theta so here the angle is theta2 and here the angle is theta1 and friends we are assuming that tan theta1 is equal to m1 and tan theta2 is equal to m2 so we are proving that sum of the interior angles is equal to exterior angle. So theta plus theta 2 is equal to theta 1. Theta becomes theta 1 minus theta 2. And now we are applying tan on both the sides, right? So tan theta is equal to tan theta 1 minus theta 2. So tan theta 1 minus theta 2 is nothing but tan A minus B formula. That is tan theta 1 minus tan theta 2 by 1 plus tan theta 1 tan theta 2. And we are substituting the m1 and m2 in the place of tan theta1 and also tan theta2. So tan theta becomes mod m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2. So this is nothing but how we find the angle between two curves. So friends, I think you all have understood about the angle between two curves. And friends, not only this, in angle between two curves, this is a graph of angle between two curves. So friends, see here which I have drawn, there are drawn two curves to the graph and two tangent which make the angle theta. So here the angle is theta 2 and here the angle is theta 1. So theta is equal to theta 1 minus theta 2 and tan theta is equal to tan theta 1 minus theta 2. 
So, friends, the formula is tan theta 1 minus tan theta 2 by 1 plus tan theta 1 and tan theta 2. So, friends, now we are going to the conditions. So, conditions is nothing but in finding the angle between two curves, there are three conditions. First one is orthogonality. The first one is orthogonality. Friends, do you know what is meant by orthogonality? Yeah, it is nothing but when the curves are intersected perpendicularly, so at that point we can uh, we can find the slope of the tangent line. So it is nothing but finding the angle between two curves when they are intersected perpendicularly. So uh, for orthogonality, so friends, when the curves are intersected to each other, so we can find the point at the we can find the angle between these two curves by the intersecting point. And now, so this point is known as the intersecting curve. And uh, this is at that point when the curves intersect each other perpendicularly, the slopes m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1. So, friends, this is nothing but first condition that is when the curves are intersected perpendicularly, the slopes of the two curves m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1. And next coming to second condition. Friends, second condition is nothing but uh, when the curves touch each other, for example, like this. When the curves touch each other, we can draw a similar tangent to both the curves. So, at this point, the slopes m1 is equal to m2. So, this is nothing but how we find, uh, how we, how the curves touch each other at a point making the similar tangent. And next coming to third condition. Third condition is nothing but if m1 or m2 is equal to 0, then the angle tan theta becomes m1 or m2. So, the, uh, the slope m1 is becoming 0. So, then tan theta, the angle becomes m2. So, friends, this is nothing but angle between two curves and the conditions. And now, friends, uh, we are going to solve the problems on these three conditions. So, first one is show that the curves x square is equal to 4y and 4y plus x square is equal to 8 intersect at the points 2 comma 1. So, friends, now we are going to solve the problem on these three conditions. So, first one is on orthogonality. So, friends, firstly, to solve this problem, we have to find the slopes m1 and m2. So, for that, we are going to differentiate the two curves. So, first one is equal to x square is equal to 4y, right? So, friends, in differentiation, we have a formula that d by dx x to the power n is equal to n x to the power n minus 1. This is nothing but, uh, uh, this is also known as the power rule in differentiation. So, by applying this formula, we can write x square as 2x. So, x square derivative is 2x is equal to 4 and y derivative is dy by dx. So, friends, we can write it as dy by dx is equal to 2x by 4. And, the fr and friends, the slope of first curve is represented as m1. So, m1 is equal to dy by dx is equal to 2 into and in the place of x, we have to substitute 2. So, 2 into 2 by 4. So, m1 is equal to 1. So, friends, this is nothing but we have find m1 and now we have to find m2 by differentiating the second curve. Second curve is 4y plus x square is equal to 8. So, 4y we can write it as 4 and y derivative is dy by dx plus and x square derivative is 2x is equal to and friends, we have to note one point that is uh, dy by dx to the constant is always 0 and that is we also have one formula that is d by dx into constant is equal to 0. So, this is the formula which we also have in our differentiation chapter. 